Today I wanted to do this nice sunset eye. I got inspired by this flower in my yard. Super pretty. And I got new products. So that's how I created this look. Y'all yeah, really, really like how it came out. Super simple for summer. Don't forget to inspire beauty. Comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know what you want to see next. And if you did enjoy this beauty, uh, if you did enjoy this beauty, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Welcome back beauties and I'm just picking up my NYX Jumbo White Eye Pencil and just placing that on my lid as a eye primer today. That out. This is a really good tip to apply a white base if you want your eyeshadows to really pop when you're using really bright colors. Then going in with this wonderful new NYX palette and placing that mustard color compared to the actual yellow shade in that palette and I'm placing this all over my lid and I'm using packing motions for this I do not want to swipe this all over my lid and you're just basically going to see me keep adding the yellow until I get the nice intense yellow that I want <laughs> Then I'm going in with the Ruby Kisses eyeshadow and one of the eyeshadow palettes in the NYX palette. And I'm just placing that color on my crease and about not even halfway, just a little inch on my lid where I place that yellow eyeshadow. On this eye, you can really see it. Like I place, like I bring the color in just a little bit. And I'm just blending that right into the crease, guys. I'm just going to be going back and mixing those two colors and just placing that into the crease until I get the desired smokiness. <laughs> And then we're just going to be blending those colors out just to make sure nothing is harsh, making sure everything is nice and well blended. <laughs> But I went back into my favorite Palladio palette and picked up that nice peachy shade as a transition color just to blend those colors out a little bit more. Then I'm going back in with those two colors from Ruby Kiss from Ruby Kisses and the NYX palette and just deepening up the crease a little bit more. Just blending this out, guys. And then I'm placing more of that yellow color because it kind of got lost with me doing all that blending in my crease. Then I'm going into another NYX palette. This is, I love this palette. It reminds me of the Violet Voss palette. Taking this little burgundy shade and placing that right underneath my lash line. And I'm really trying to smoke that out. And I was attempting to make a wing with this. But y'all know how that go when you be trying to do something. And you know, I tried my best, y'all. Give me a break. <laughs> I was over there like, hmm, it looked better in my mind. <laughs> But yeah, I'm trying to attempt a wing with this. I think I should have just used maybe a smaller brush. But I wind up getting like almost like an eyeshadow brush. And just attempting to create a wing with this look. Also placing that color into my crease. And 
and I'm just blending that out, making sure the edges are nice and seamless. Going back in and just deepening up that wing. Make sure it's really nice and vibrant. Well, since I have a little free time, y'all let me know if you like these voiceovers, you know. Or do you just like my silent videos? <laughs> Somebody give me some, leave a comment, okay? Give me some feedback. Y'all don't be leaving no comments. <laughs> I'm taking I don't know what type of color this is you guys we're just gonna say you're taking this nice sparkly color and I'm placing that into my crease as well just giving my crease a little bit more smokiness and I'm also applying this to the lash line let me know if you actually like my voiceovers or no okay thank you thank you so much I'm placing that yellow eyeshadow back all over my lid. This white eyeshadow, I wind up placing the mustard color right into my inner lid and then hitting it with the white base so it can just be a little bright, so it can be a little bit brighter in the inner corner, you know, like an inner corner highlight. with my fave eyeliner the Inglot number 77. I'm placing that on my bottom waterline and I'm also tight lining my I uh, just a little bit though. I'm taking my Wet n Wild mascara, putting some on the top. Then I'm going to pick up my Whiplash. I actually do not know the style off the top of my head, but I'm placing these bad boys on. And guys, I really love this. And I'm taking my Mac Whirl. Putting that, basically putting this all over my lips, y'all. I was trying to, like, outline my lips, but I want to just, mm, yeah, let's just put it all over. Thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. And I'm definitely going to try to get a tutorial out. I have two more lashes to wear before I actually want to give an in-depth tutorial about these lashes. So, guys, give me a... Just wait. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> then I'm going in with the NYX Nude Lip Thing and picking up this, like, pink colored and I'm doing the same thing y'all placing this all over my lips honey like it's some lip balm I don't know what I was doing y'all I was like hmm maybe I'm just gonna place it in the center and then I was like girl if you don't just put that all over your lip I'm like mm. yeah that looks about right <laughs> taking this wet n wild ombre blush and adding some blush honey if you guys know where the wet n wild highlighters are please leave a comment down below I'm really trying to find them Mascara on my bottom lashes. And y'all really like this. It had me popping. Then you already know ABA so Hollywood honey. And I'm just gonna add um, 15 pounds of highlighter. You already know how I do it. Until I think I'm satisfied. And guys, this is the finished look. Can't wait to see you next time. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Have a good day.